वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम नाइन डैश ट्वेंटी एट से इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इज टेकन फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर नाइन दैट इज स्ट्रेस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड द बुक नेम इज मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटेरियल बाय आर सी हिबलर सो स्टेटमेंट इज द ट्वेंटी फाइव मिलीमीटर थिक रेक्टेंगुलर बार इज सब्जेक्टेड टू एक्सियल लोड ऑफ टेन किलो न्यूटन इफ द बार इज जॉइंट बाय वेल्ट विच मेक्स एन एंगल ऑफ सिक्सटी डिग्री विद द हॉरिजेंटल डिटरमाइन द शेयर स्ट्रेस पैरल टू द वेल्ट एंड नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस पर पेंडिकुलर टू द वेल्ट so you can see this is a rectangular bar having height is 680 mm and the thickness is 25 mm and this bar is subjected to 10 kilo newton axial load and this bar is joined is made by joint it using weld which makes an angle of 60 degree from the horizontal so you have to find the shear stress along this uh, weld and the the normal stress that is perpendicular to this weld so let's start with the solution so first step is that you can see you have a 10 kilo newton load 10 uh, axial load so we'll find the axial stress and that axial stress is equal to force per unit area clear so force is 10 kilo newton so 10 into 10 to the power 3 newton and area over which it act is 80 multiply by 25 mm so we will convert this millimeter into meter so length uh, thickness which is 0.025 meter multiply by the height which is 0.08 and the unit will be square meter so when you solve this you will get it 5 into 10 raised to power 6 newton per meter square and we will get 5 into 10 to the power 6 pascal and when you convert it into mega pascal so it will be 5 mega pascal now you can see that we have only normal stress in x direction is 5 mega pascal so this is x direction and this is your y direction clear there is no other load applied so what we will get is that if you draw the state of stress stress on element so this you will be your sigma x clear in this direction this is sigma x which is equal to 5 mega pascal so in this case you have sigma x is 5 mega pascal you do not have sigma y that is 0 and there is no shear stress so tau of x y is also equal to 0 now here you can see that we have been given that this uh, weld which makes 60 degree so you can either take theta as 60 degree counter clockwise which will be positive or if you can see that let this is your x axis and this is your y axis so if you take this remaining which is 30 degree in clockwise direction r theta r theta is equal to minus 30 degree minus 30 degree means 30 degree clockwise clear so we will take here theta is equal to minus 30 degree and after that we will find the transform stress that will be acting on this shear stress on this surface along parallel to the weld and the normal stress perpendicular to the plane so we know that uh, transform stress sigma x dash is equal to sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 plus sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 into cos of 2 theta plus tau of x y sin of 2 theta now you have all the values just put it So five plus zero divided by two plus five minus zero divided by two into cos of theta is minus thirty. So cos of two theta is minus sixty degree plus zero into sine of minus sixty degree. That will give you transform stress in x direction in 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 new x dash direction. clear and that when you calculate it you will get sigma x dash comes out to be 3.75 mega pascal now we'll find the shear stress that will be parallel to the 
weld and that shear stress of x dash y dash will be equal to sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 into sine of 2 theta plus tau of x y into cos of 2 theta so put the value 5 minus 0 divided by 2 into sine of minus 60 degree plus tau of x y which is again 0 into cos of minus 60 degree and when you calculate it you will get the transform stress shear stress comes out to be 2.17 mega pascal so this is the shear st stress transform shear stress and this is the transform normal stress that will act on the element so if you draw the element initially this is your x-axis there this is your y-axis and you have seen that we have transform y-axis this is 30 degree minus 30 degree that is clockwise clear so here this x dash will also move to this is x dash this is your new axis y dash and this is again 30 degree that is clockwise clear and when we draw the element so element will be like this clear and we will be having the normal stress in this direction which is in x dash direction that is positive so it will be like this sigma x dash will be like this and your tau of x dash y dash will be like this so tau of x dash y dash is 2.17 mega pascal and sigma x dash is 3.7 mega pascal also if you want to draw it on this element so so you can see this stress shear stress is parallel to this surface clear in to the weld and this stress which is normal to this surface that is sigma x dash and that was all about this problem 9-28 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching